In this video, we continue our discussion about the chemical master equation. We focus on stochastic simulations with the Gillespie's algorithm. Let's assume that we have m reactions R1, R2, all the way to Rm, and n molecular species S1, S2, Sn. Given that the system is in state x1, xn at time t, we need to answer two questions in order to simulate the evolution of the system. When will the next reaction occur and which reaction will it be? We combine the answers to these two questions in the following joint probability distribution. P of tau and mu is going to be the probability that given the state x1, xn at time t, the next reaction will occur in the infinitesimal time interval from t plus tau to t plus tau plus d tau and it will be a reaction R mu. Note that if we thought about the probability of a reaction occurring exactly at time t plus tau, then the probability would be zero. The strategy is going to be that, based on the chemical master equation, we will deduce the analytical expression of P of tau and mu. It's important to note that tau, in this case, is not necessarily infinitesimal. Here is how this is done. Let's denote by H mu the number of distinct, distinct combinations of reactants for reaction R mu in the state at time t plus tau. And remember that this is the same state as that at time t because no reaction has occurred from t to t plus tau. Then as we observe for the chemical master equation, the probability that the reaction R mu will occur in the infinitesimal time interval from t plus tau to t plus tau plus d tau is c mu times h mu times d tau. And we will denote by p0 of tau the probability that no reaction occurs in the time interval from t to t plus tau. So this means that p of tau and mu equals p0 of tau times h mu times c mu times d tau. We will need to compute p0 of tau, the probability that no reaction occurs in the time interval from t to t plus tau. And here is where we need to be careful because the time interval from t to t plus tau may not necessarily be infinitesimal. And uh, let's think about the probability p0 of tau plus d tau, where d tau is in fact infinitesimally small. And that is the probability that no reaction has occurred in the interval from t to t plus tau plus d tau. Now, the, the probability that no reaction occurs in, the, in this interval is the same as that of no reaction occurring in the interval from t to t plus tau and no reaction occurring in the infinitesimal interval from t plus tau to t plus tau plus d tau. So p0 of t plus d tau is made of these two possibilities, p0 of tau times 1 minus uh, this sum, which is um, the sum of any of the reactions having occurred in this interval of length d tau. So as usual, we are going to take p0 of tau to the left-hand side, and then we are going to divide by d tau, and we are going to get on the left-hand side the differential of p0 of tau, and on the right-hand side its expression, which is in this case minus p0 of tau times the sum of h times c. In fact, this uh, differential equation can be solved, and the solution is p0 of tau is uh, e to power minus the sum h times c times, times tau. So finally, we obtain that p of tau and mu is h mu times c mu times e to power minus a tau, where um, a, or in fact alpha, like I wrote on this slide, is a constant. So to simulate numerically the time evolution of our system, starting from the given initial state, what we need to do is generate a pair tau and mu according to the probability density function p of tau mu. The waiting time is going to be exponentially distributed, and we will have to estimate reaction probabilities in the current state and choose one probabilistically. 
Then we will adjust the molecular levels according to reaction R mu, meaning that we will decrease the level of reactants and we will increase the level of the output species, then advance time to t plus tau and just iterate the procedure. It's important to realize that this is the only exact simulation algorithm of the chemical master equation. It's essentially just a reformulation of the chemical master equation. The crucial point is that there is no time slicing, as in a numerical simulation of ODs. The jump to the next time point is done according to the correct probability distribution. There are many variants of Gillespie's stochastic simulation algorithm. Some of them offer speedups and some of them are reformulations for various special cases, just such as for hybrid models involving both continuous and discrete variables.